Hello, my name is Ben Turner, I'm the Managing Director of Ben Burgess and we're going to show you what one of our style technicians, Adam, gets up to in a day's work. I'm Adam. I'm 18. And my job title is an Agricultural Technician Apprentice. A typical day for me is arrive work for 8 o'clock do our timesheets and job cards and hand them in to our service manager, receive our new job cards and stuff for that day. Lunch would be about 12.30 till 1 and then we would knock off at 6 o'clock. Today's been a pretty typical day. I did a 1500 hour service this morning. A 1500 hour service is the most major service that we do, which entailed picking the parts, doing the engine oil and filters, the transmission oil and hydraulic oil, and the filters for that as well. We then book our bits out to the customer via our system on the computer and we then invoice that to them. We also grease up and wash down the tractor courtesy for the customer. Apprentices are very important to us because they're the seed corn of our business. Our business is very much based on our staff and uh, their connection with the customer. Adam started with us as a work experience student from school. We were very pleased with his performance and it gave us a wonderful opportunity for him to get to know us and for us to see him. When he approached us for an opportunity to take on the apprenticeship, we were very pleased to be able to offer it to him and uh, he's done a sterling job and we're very pleased with his performance. We're now heading out to um, a farm just down the road from Ben Burgess where they've just bought a brand new combine. Uh, we're going to have to PDI it, which is just a basic check over the machine make sure all the functions are working properly etc um, and nothing got broken in transit off the ferry so when it comes to harvest time that there's no doubt that there's no troubles when we first start off This afternoon I've been working on this £120,000 worth of state-of-the-art combine harvester. A car mechanic only has to know about cars, whereas in this job we have to know about combine harvesters, tractors, potato planters, potato separators and potato harvesters. Ever since I was a little lad where I was brought up on a farm I've wanted to do anything in farming. Um, I mainly got into this industry by my work experience through school. I would not have changed that for anything, however, now that I am in this industry, I've learned more than I could ever expected to. I have, I go to college for a year, um, although it's spread out over three years. I go to college for three weeks and then come to work for three months, so I get a lot of work-based training. The laptop computer has really become an essential part of uh, an engineer's toolbox. and. Uh, all our engineers now carry a laptop which is loaded with information effectively that can help them and assist them in diagnosing a problem. This is the type of laptop we use during the repair. This is probably the best tool we have in any of our toolboxes because it allows us to access all the data points throughout the combine or machinery, whichever we may be working on. Um, it gives us all the operator's manuals, the service repairs, the ops and tests, the readings and calibrations we can do throughout the laptop is all included on the service advisor. 10-15 years ago the industry used to be spanners and grease, now it's more high tech or even space age with the use of laptops and high technology. Here is a guided tour of the cab to show you more. Integrated into all the combine harvesters which is interchangeable between the combine and the tractors is the new Starfire ITC receiver and monitor. This is the auto track system. With the new GPS system, the farmer can easily harvest his field without having to steer in the combine, easily going up and down a field without having to touch the steering wheel. The field that we're combining is illustrated by these blue bits. Once we've set an AB line, we can then start harvesting. We've already programmed into the 
GPS system how wide the header is, so every time that we do a pass it will then minus that off the field. This is the basic display of the combine. Here it shows that diesel, the engine temperature, the ground forward speed and the engine speed. Above that is the diagnostic section, the calibration section. Above that is the header control section, illustrating how level the header is to the ground. This is the multifunction lever. Here it controls your header, your unloading auger, and your resume buttons, also with an emergency stop. It also controls your forward speed and your reverse speed. Here we have the main separation engage and the header engage. We also have the, the controls that alter the speeds of various components within the grain separation compartment. And this round thing here is the steering wheel. The good things about this job are working on state-of-the-art machinery and meeting the customers. However, the state-of-the-art machinery and customers can, can sometimes bring pressure. Um, I often relate to them and call them uh, a knight in shining armour because to the farmer or to the customer whose machine has broken down, when they turn up on the farm, um, they turn up as a knight in shining armour to come and fix their problems. And uh, this, is, this is great buzz for the engineer, technician, um, to think that he's held in that esteem. But at the same time, it gives him a tremendous amount of pressure is put on his shoulders to perform and, and manage that task and find that problem. But the satisfaction at the end of it is great. Home time. This is a fantastic industry to work in and if you want to be part of it, my top tip to you is to apply for a Saturday job at your local dealership. There, that may develop into work experience, college and a modern apprenticeship. After your modern apprenticeship, the goals are endless.